I'm Nathan Woody, and this is my Heart and Soul story. My wife and I started coming to Heart and Soul a few weeks before the like pre-launch, and Steph saw an ad on Facebook and said, hey, they're looking for musicians. So I met with Annie and Tristan and ended up joining the worship team. And yeah, kind of from there, we just started coming, started loving it, getting involved. So when, when we joined Heart and Soul, um, I was currently working at Chick-fil-A and had joined a store that had just opened and through Chick-fil-A had made a lot of really good connections and kind of intersected with heart and soul by learning, you know, I really understood that like my passion was for people. I love seeing people grow, seeing people start at one place and get to another. So when I started going to heart and soul um, and realized like one of their, one of their values was calling the champion out of people that really aligned with who I feel like I am, helping somebody go somewhere from where they currently are. And so that was really cool to see how those align with my passions and my purpose, and then where heart and soul was going and, and their direction and things that were important to them. So after hearing that heart and soul and hearing the vision laid out from Pastor Austin, I realized there were things in the workplace that I was doing where I was calling the champion out of people, but it was very much focused on business. It was focused on results. It was focused on helping us get from point A to point B to point C and achieving goals from a number standpoint. And really was, the champion was called out of me in a way where I was able to help call the champion out of others from a relationship standpoint. And from a digging, digging deeper into Jesus standpoint, uh, several stories where I was able to call the champion out of others and teach them what that meant, where that was able to continue on and on and on beyond just me, where now I'm not at Chick-fil-A anymore, but I know that they are teaching, calling the champion out of people there, which is really cool to me just to see that continue on uh, beyond that. Steph and I really felt like we were getting plugged in here, doing awesome ministry here in Knoxville. Loved heart and soul, loved the friends that we've made, the community that we've developed. So I made a departure from Chick-fil-A at the end of last year. And leaving was weird because Chick-fil-A was an amazing culture. They had the people that you know I love to connect with. I had guests that I could talk with. And so that whole thing was like, okay, what do I do next that allows me to still act out my passions and fulfill my purpose? And so got connected with Scooters through Greg and Stacy. The culture that Greg and Stacy had developed was something I could really walk into and get behind and be passionate about and help them carry on, which is awesome. I love now creating community within our Scooters stores where people can come through the drive-through and you can talk to them about church and you can talk to them about, hey, you know, what are you doing Sunday? We're having family fun day or whatever the event may be. And that's just a natural thing. I believe all of our purpose is to just tell others about Jesus. And the way we do that is by acting out through our passions. So like me, I'm passionate about people, whether that be talking to somebody through the drive-through or developing a leader or seeing somebody grow from this to that, but I'm passionate about people. Okay, I was in the drive-through once and that morning <clears throat> I was praying that I could be intentional about my connections with people. I don't really know why I prayed that that morning. These people come through the drive-thru and I had talked to them once before. They were super new to Knoxville, um, not from around here. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep talking to these people. They had their dog in the back seat, and those people were Nathan and Sammy Edwards. And I invited them to church. I was like, what are you guys doing Sunday? Have we talked about Heart and Soul yet? Because I thought I talked to them before about it, but I guess I didn't. They're like, no, we're not doing anything Sunday. What church? And it just happened that like, <clears throat> when they pulled up, there was nobody behind them. And we sat at the window for like 10 minutes. Sorry, Stacy. Um, and it was awesome. We were able to just connect, invite them to Heart and Soul. They came Sunday. They came Sunday night to our party. And then they've been plugged in ever since. And they're a huge part of Heart and Soul now. Nathan and Sammy might have come through the drive through but if I wasn't paying attention to the opportunities, I may have missed it. And if I wasn't praying for the opportunities, I might have missed it. We want people to know Jesus and dig deeper. And so we're, we're, the, we're the way that happens. It's not Pastor Austin, it's not people that are on staff. We are the way that that happens. I didn't necessarily wake up one day and realize what my passions were or what my purpose was, but it was developed over time. 
um, through different scenarios where okay, I had this job, these are the things I liked from this job, I had this job, these were the things that I enjoyed from this job, where now I can reflect on it and say, okay, it's not necessarily about making a certain dollar amount or working certain hours, but for me, I found my, my passion is connecting with people. And my parents had a really good example of that growing up, so I think that's always been kind of intertwined into who I am. Inviting Nathan and Sammy, watching them be so plugged in here, be such good friends with so many people here, is like there was an awkward conversation or a potentially awkward conversation on the front end, but seeing the result on the back end makes it all worth it. What's ahead of you today, you have to take advantage of, even if tomorrow is 100% different. I think there's purpose every day in what you're doing and everything you do is meaningful. You just have to look for that and you have to be intentional and you have to choose in the morning when you get up of, hey, let me pray for this day. Let me decide, okay, this, this day is gonna be glorifying to God first and foremost and I just need to be open to the opportunities that are ahead of me. I'm Nathan Woody and that's my heart and soul story.